All right, today we are going to polish aluminum to the scientific grade for scanning electron microscopes. What we have is uh, these very small targets. And as you can see right now, it's already pretty shiny. If you get a close-up look, though, it is not a mirror yet. So what we've done is we've sanded these already. We took a 180-grit sandpaper. We ground down the surface so that all the flaws were out. We moved up to a 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 grit sandpaper, one at a time until, uh, yeah, we've removed all of the surface scratches. Everything that's pretty deep, and because you need the surfaces to be parallel when you put it in the scanning electron microscope, we made sure that we had this on a flat surface. What we did is we just put down a pane of glass, and then we sand it on top of that, and that keeps everything very, very, very flat. The first step is to clean off everything. We can do that with uh, just water. We can just rinse it off. But the second step after polishing is to clean everything with an ultrasonic agitator because if you have any particles left on there, they're going to look really big in the scanning electron microscope. So, uh, yeah, this is how we're going to do the final polish. This is our polishing surface. As you can see, we have our piece of glass. The back side's a little bit dirty, but the front has been cleaned with a razor blade. All of the dust and everything is off. The second layer that we have here is just a piece of uh, t-shirt cloth. Again, really clean, but that makes sure that if anything goes through our polishing surface, that it doesn't agitate the glass and have any particles come back up through. And the last is this uh, super fine cloth. It's essentially, I think, what they make like teddy bears and stuff out of. You can find it at the craft store. It's probably about $20 for a yard. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this this is a mother's mag and aluminum polish, and we are going to put some on this surface, and we are going to go to it. And so the way I do this is I take some of the clean mother's mag, just put it down. I'm going to take one of my fairly finished targets here, and I'm going to mash this around. So we're going to find a spot here, and we are just going to go in circles. And you can see once you start rubbing in the magnesium polish, you're going to start getting this gray. That's just essentially taking off that last little layer of aluminum. We're going to go in circles for about a minute, and what that's going to do is essentially remove all the little scratches, all the little micro abrasions that are still on the surface, and hopefully get it to a pretty nice polish. So we're going to have something that looks about like this. You can see in the light, it is pretty dirty looking. So now we are going to just draw straight lines with it. If we keep going one way, when we look at it, we should see that there is no haze or anything on here and no scratches. If there's still haze and scratches, what we're going to want to do is go back to the circles. So you can see in the middle there, there's a little bit of haze. So we're going to go back to the circles. We can either go on the same spot or we can just start a new spot. I'm just going to start a new spot. The haze is really what we're trying to get rid of the most right now by doing in the circles. Once we start going in lines, we're going to make sure that there's no more surface scratches, and then we'll be done with this step. The second step is going to be to put in the ultrasonic cleaner. Wonderful. All right, so now you can see there is no more haze on this surface. There's also no more scratches. So I'm just going to go the other way. So now I've rotated the target 90 degrees. I'm just going in the same direction again. This is going to make sure that there is nothing on the surface because there's chances that there's little scratches there that I just can't see. I'm going to go beside it. Just another few strokes. All right. We have an incredibly polished screen here. All right, and so there you can see it. We have gotten this perfectly polished. It is ready to go into the ultrasonic cleaner to get all the particles off. It is a perfectly mirrored surface. There's no haze, there are no scratches, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, these are images from inside of the SEM. Right now we're looking at particles of sulfur under a biofilm. This is at 700 magnification. We're going to zoom into 5,000 magnification. Here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll off of the targeting stub over to just an empty space. Now we are looking at the aluminum stub itself at 4,000 times magnification. The head operator says this is a great polishing job. We're going to go into 50,000 and 100,000. If you want cleaner surfaces than this, what you're going to want to do is buy the polished carbon plate holders. 
and you can glue them onto the targeting pad. Otherwise, this is great. So if you want to do this to uh, prep your sample holders for your SEM, go for it. If you are watching this because you're like, I'm going to do this with my car wheels, this is going to take you a long time, but you will have mirrored car wheels. What you want to do is, uh, again, like a 180 or 220 grit sandpaper to remove all the surface scratches, then just keep stepping down in grit size, so like 400, 600, 800,000, 1,000, 52,000, then 3,000, and then this Mother's Mag polish on this super fine, super soft cloth, and uh, should be ready to go. Hope this helps somebody out. Thanks.